Are you serious? Are you serious? What is that smell? What? Has the gates of hell opened up in Moscow? Well, that is a question. That's the headlines on yahoo.com. I'm looking at the headline. A foul smell, an odor, has in, engulfed Moscow, Russia, throughout the entire day today with concerned citizens flooding the authorities with complaints of officials scrambling to locate the source of the stench. Well, predictably, uh, Moscow had a field day. Folks were making comments, joking about it. One even said, one of the newscasters there, has the gates of hell opened up in a city of 12 million people. Now, residents of Moscow began complaining early today of the unpleasant smell of sulfur and hydrogen sulfide. Are you serious? Is that the smell that would come from hell? The concentration of hydrogen sulfide in the air briefly exceeded the norm while sulfur dioxide was within the limits, said some of the watchdogs and environmentalists uh, there in Moscow. Authorities have warned Russians against panicking. Folks, if you wake up in a whole city, 12 million people are going, <coughs> and it smells like hell, uh, you're going to panic, especially when it goes on all day long. It's still going on. It's still going on. What's amazing about this, folks, to be honest with you, uh, is last night I announced that today, uh, in tonight's live broadcast, from the final night of this prophecy conference, this latter rain revival that we're preaching here in Morgantown, West Virginia, that I'm going to be preaching on the two witnesses, which you can find in Revelation chapter 11. It includes something coming out of the bottomless pit or the gates of hell opening. I announced that last night, but the smell happened today in Russia, and there's a lot more we're going to look at. So don't miss tonight's live broadcast. It starts at 7 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy and the powerful Word of God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The signs, the apocalyptic signs are everywhere. I mean, something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ.